My name is Evan. I got in too deep. It could happen to anyone. This is my story. I got involved in the gang because of money. Yeah, my, my dad lost his job, and financially anyway, growing up I didn't have a lot. I was always jealous of the boys. They wanted new trainers and bring them to school, so yeah, I needed money. And to be honest with you, I thought it was a delivery job. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Look, look, I knew it was drugs, right? But like, it was, it was more than that for me. I had everything I wanted. People were paying attention to me. I was dressing how I wanted to dress. I was doing what I wanted to do. It was just a job at the time. And it looked, honestly, what, like, what would you know about that? People didn't know what I was going through at the time. Jimmy, my family was struggling financially. I was helping them out. I was helping myself out. It was more than just a job for me. Look, that's what it was. Look, with Jamie, <laughs> Jamie and me were best friends for like ever and since we were young for years and years and years and he knew I was in trouble. He knew me more than anyone else. He knew there was something wrong, but to be honest with you, I didn't want him getting involved and I didn't want him getting hurt. I, at that point, I know I knew that there was something dangerous or something bad happening. And look, Jamie saw Tyler with a knife. And I think that's why he reacted. It was scary for me because once one person knows how many other people could know and how many, what happens then if people get involved. I knew I was in trouble. I, look, I went over to Tyler's house and him and this guy Andre showed me this video. Look, I, I don't know where they found it, but it was a video of some boy getting his finger chopped off. Yeah, and they told me I was going to London. If anything went wrong, that's what would have happened. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, but honestly, I didn't know how to react. But what would you have done if you were in that situation? What would you have done? I, I, I felt trapped and I felt like I couldn't talk to anyone. I couldn't talk to my family, my parents. It was a hard, it was, it was. It's hard to explain, you don't know unless you've been there. You don't know unless you were in that situation. It's a weird one, you know. And, and look, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of glad that, that someone called the police on me because I was noticing how I was seeing people who were ruining their lives by dealing drugs, taking drugs, and it could have only got worse for me. I embarrassed my family and embarrassed people around me and embarrassed myself. I think it was glad that there was the raid because because it was the start of the end and I was finally going to get out of it. If you become aware of a situation like mine or if you're going through it yourself or know somebody going through it, don't be afraid to speak up. The only people who win from not snitching are the gangs. Don't let them win. Help out and speak up.